In the blink of an eye, the season is over in the CPL. Now we face the long off-season, the time of the year in which all of the clubs, including the champions, will look to strengthen their rosters for the next campaign. Many signings will be rumoured and completed and the teams will try to acquire players to fill their main gaps. Players will also switch sides from inside the CPL. Every team could benefit from such a signing. So we're going to imagine which would be the perfect player for each CPL side. Forge need a centre forward who guarantees more goals. So just imagine Terran Campbell's scoring power in a team that generates as many chances as Forge. Campbell shone in the full season due to his physical presence. He would definitely be ideal for Smyrniotis' side. Cavalry showed very few weaknesses, but the Cavs would need to strengthen their depth at fullback. Absey was for many the best left back in the league and would be a perfect complement for Tommy Wilden's roster. York 9 need complete players who could team up with Manny Aparicio in the middle of the field. There's no one in the league better for the task than Michael Petrasso. Being able to play as fullback, midfielder or even a striker, Petrasso, who was born in the York region, would greatly improve the nine stripes. Every CPL team would love to have Borges, but only Forge enjoy that privilege at the moment. If there is a team who are looking for a creative player who would also add speed to their offence, it would be Edmonton. With a good defensive structure, the signing of a player like Borges would make the Eddies a true candidate in the second season. HFX Wanderers were unreliable in front of goal. Veteran Jan Michael Williams lost his starting role during the season to young Christian Oxner. For a team that leaves so many open spaces to the opposition, having a goalkeeper who excels in one-on-ones would definitely help. With cat-like reflexes, Nathan Ingham, who led the CPL in saves, is that kind of netminder. A young group of talented players like at Pacific could do with an experienced defender to lead them. Very few are better in this aspect than Tator. One of the best centre-backs in the league, who can also play at right-back, Tator's solid defensive skills will provide stability to the squad from Vancouver Island. No team needs to improve more in defence than Valor. The squad from Winnipeg are filled with offensive talent, but clearly lacked defensive organisation. Rob Gale's side would need a player like Daniel Crutzen, one of the centre-backs with the most potential in the CPL. There are plenty of moves to make. We shall see if there are any inter-CPL changes before the season begins again.